Hey YouTube, the Laser Shooting Robots return with another Star Wars Black Series review as we're counting down the arrival of The Force Awakens on December 18th. Yes, we've got the Emperor Palpatine from Episode 6 when he was really, really old. I think um, the detail and stuff in the back of the box. It is kind of cool. The, the packaging's it, nice. Yeah. Yeah, except for the Force Awakens ones because of the red and blue. Yeah. But then again, even then, like the side red of it's black, kind of ruined blue. with all the, like the distribution notices. Oh yeah, there's tons there's, of it here. Oh no, if you think it's bad, take a look at the flap on that side. It's like bam, nothing but like blah 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 you blah. Yeah, not in Australia, but somebody who distributed in Australia. Yeah, I don't know how these popped up. They popped up at a Walmart one day. I'm like, hey, and they were like, okay, I knew I didn't want to get the Emperor, but then he scanned for ten dollars, and I'm like. Well, what's the worst that could happen? Are you sure you can get the Australian one? Because uh, the only thing by distribution is on Australia. I know. I don't know. I don't know where those that's came weird. from. But they were on clearance. But it's got Spanish and French on here. I almost bought them full, full price. Because yeah. so. I was like so excited. three different languages in here. So Four different excited. languages in English. And I just can't hide it. Weird. Let us open up the box. Because the box is really just going to get thrown away. Anyway. So yeah, let's see. Star Wars figures are not collectible anymore. If you keep them in boxes. Yeah, I know. And everyone doesn't know. Well, I don't know. I just believe in this. Oh, okay. really so it's a really nice, open. easy open box. He's got, he's only got his two accessories. He's got his cane. And then he's got his robe. I was really not liking the soft goods on this thing. So we're going to figure out if that's going to change my opinion. We'll see. He's actually quite tiny too. But then again, well, for, a, small for a, small a frail character. character. Yeah, exactly. You know. So um, his cane is just, of course... A it's black quite, cane. Quite nicely detailed. I haven't actually seen an Emperor in a cane actually since like a long time. This would be like my second It's instance. firm enough. It's firm. That's what she said. So anyways, let's take a look. So he's got his he's soft got his pointy cloak. finger. He does have a pointy finger. He's like, smell my finger. You can do this. <laughs> hey, no. You can have like the, the naughty, naughty Palpatine pose. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey. Mm -hmm. This is what we do in the dark side all day. But the material is actually kind of it's actually semi decent. It's actually actually once you get it out of the packaging, it's actually not that bad. It's hanging on him better than I expected. So you, you oh, he's hideous. He oh, he does have hair still. He does have the yeah the rubbery plastic on there. Exactly. I was kind of debating on how they did that because I never really took it a lot of the pics. I just saw the goofy robe on it. I'm like, ah, oh, fudge it. I don't want it. But it's not bad. And now he's picking his ear. Put himself in the eye. Arr. Come on, get your hand with her. Arr. 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 I am a little disappointed he doesn't come with like lightning hands because that would have really set this thing over the top. He stands pretty well, actually. He's too yeah. busy picking his eye out and he's got his hood on. So. Well, he's um, coming, in fact, he's crying. Yeah. Yeah. Something, something dark side. So he's got the usual ball jointed head. No, no, no. Um, the rope kind of covers it. I don't know. Is the rope even removable? Yep. Got a clasp there. Let's not break it. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It looks like it's removable. Kind of got a clasp. Different looking, though. It was a giant ball. It's a giant ball, so I think it'd be easier to detail the articulation with the thing off. But I mean, if anything, just pull it off his head or something. Or just not. <laughs> he's not going to be doing, like, flips or anything. So he's got shoulders. Ooh, you're undressing the Emperor. With my eyes. Ooh, sexy, sexy pup team. You must choose! Am I wearing the thong? Or the elephant? Isn't that robot chicken? Oh, the elephant bikini. There we go. Okay. Da -da 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 so he pretty much wears his outfit from the old, uh, from the prequel trilogy. Yeah, exactly. He's not wearing anything. It's in black. That's all. Pretty much. Yeah, but just really simple. It makes his neck look really long. It does. He's got giraffe. -y. He's got giraffiness going on. So he's got el he's got his shoulders, and then he's actually got double jointed elbows with a bicep swivel. Actually, yeah, which so is I know a little that. unexpected considering Kylo Ren doesn't have that. He's like bang. His bang, wrist articulation is weird, though. It, it is. It's actually, I think they're just swivels. Oh, but they bend. But they bend. They 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 bend. Oh. So they can kind of give you like a hand job or something. But, it's probably for know. more articulation for the can. I probably think so, too. Yeah. Oh, Or you can just go like, bang. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to bend. It's a really stiff joint down. I didn't want to twist it. He's got a waist. It's, um, and then he's got his robe below. So he's got pants. He's got the hips. And he's got a thigh swivel. He's got double-jointed double -jointed knee. knees. For, for a character who like doesn't even need it, and this thing would probably just get in the way anyways. Yep. Arr. Ooh, these joints are stiff, but they're sturdy. <laughs> um, then he's got <laughs> ratcheted ankles. I don't have a clue what the emperor is doing. Also, his, his uh, right ankle is broken. <laughs> Look at his right ankle. He can't even stand anymore. Ah, was he packaged like that? No, I have a clue. Uh, 
You were standing earlier. There's got a little bit of rocking action there. So, so now if you ever wanted an emperor who was going to like rival like a Shaw Brothers like evil master, well, here you go. Just if you ever wanted to see that. Oh God. Ugh. Ooh. But he's cast all in solid plastic, like black plastic. So don't expect any paint down there. He's not, you know, the curtains do need not. Need for paint down there anyway. The curtains do this not match the drapes, in case you were asking. So. We bury behind the p I put my clothes back on. So that's actually surprisingly well. The sculpt, the face sculpt is actually done pretty well. I yeah, think his, yeah, his eyes are a little shifty. Oh, maybe I should put his arms down. Because <laughs> they look like a tardo. But his eyes are actually pretty well done. He's got like, the Sith eyes going on. And, you know, you never really saw him unhooded in the actual movie. So, you know. You, you do the camera. I'm trying to do things while I see in the camera. <laughs> That's actually pretty nicely done. I mean, his eyes are a little stilty. He was only the one there, so I mean, like, I was just going to just settle. Here. Oh, actually, his waist is ball joint. He's like a hula girl. <laughs> so, this Palpatine is, like, strangely mobile. Considering the one I had from, like, 1995 just moves up the arms. You can do, like, he can do the monkey. Yeah. And then that was it. <laughs> this is actually quite a leaps and bounds ahead. And I'm actually starting to dig that cloak a lot than I thought I was. Okay, maybe not right now. <laughs> this particular moment, as we dress him back up. The cane to me feels a bit short, though. I kind of thought it'd be a bit longer, but a bit taller. But it's actually really nicely done. It's all nubbly. And it does not look ergonomic on your hands at all. That's extremely uncomfortable to hold. It would be fun to poke people with it, though. Hmm. Bang, bang. It's pretty nicely done, but just simple cast and simple black plastic, so, yeah. It's not going to blow you away or anything. No, exactly what gonna hit. Exactly. Like Shazam! Something, something, dark side. <laughs> <laughs> so, can we just fit in this hand? Just... Come on, get in there. Get in there, banana. So those double-jointed elbows can really help you with this. But no, I really kind of wish he came with some sort of force lightning hands, because that would have been that would have been cool. Even just have little sparks or something out of them, like the raid in it, that would just be cool. Um, but unfortunately, no. I guess I think to make up for the other figures in the series, like Commander Cody and stuff. What you pose them anyway? They went crazy with that guy, so he's like really depressed. I think he's supposed to be a little more hunched over. So uh, you know, and that's the thing. I he like, stands up quite straight. He is. He's like ramrod straight for a frail old guy. Uh, uh, that's where the soft goods come in real quite a hindrance it's a bit of a hindrance and it seems to be hanging better than I thought it'd be but I don't know I really thought the cane would be longer because I don't think he needs it Ugh. like it seriously he's just like well, what the fucking point I can't even use it so he's just like ah the stupid cane oh no <laughs> so it's not bad I think you just have to futz with him a lot but I don't know I think the cane's personally I think it's too short Actually. Yeah, it seems a little too short. Oh, there we go. Let me just point his wrist down. Well, even then, like, it's got quite a bit of clearance there. I mean... <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, no, he's at a fall. Quick, call 911. Get life call. <laughs> I fall in and I can't get up. <laughs> My apprentice is going to pick me up and throw me down the, throw me down the power shaft. That there you go. Kind of works. Yeah, it's not too bad if you hunch him. I think he he needs, he needs to be, be futzed. Hunched. He needs to be futzed along a lot with, but I don't know. So it's not bad. I'm kind of for the price point. I mean, I don't know if I'd want oh, to hunt him down. Ten bucks you paid for him? Well, I was a surprise. I was actually going to almost pay full price for it, and then the register rang up at ten. I'm like, oh, shut up, just take it, take it, run, run, run. Shut up and take my money. Exactly. Shut up and take my money. So not bad for a ten dollar figure. I don't know if I'd really want to pay for him at full price. So, like the full twenty five bones. Ugh. I don't think I'm worth that much. No, I'm, I think that's full price of... compared to the other ones. He's not as good, but he's also one <laughs> he's of the really wanting to show his crotch. He's like, oh, he's a flasher after all. I am the flasher on the dark side. So, anyways, I don't know. I'm still pretty hit. I'm, I'm kind of stoked I got it. Um, mm -hmm. But we'll see. We'll see. We will see. We will see. Will we see me more? Oh, we'll yeah. see more Star Wars figures see. coming up. Yes, we will. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And I will not poke my eye out. I'll just smell my finger. <laughs> Have a good one, YouTube. Bang. See ya.